Hey, I'm the Cat Toy Lady. Today, we're talking cat grass. It's super easy to grow. It takes one week before you can give it to your cat. It gives them lots of vitamins and nutrients. It helps hairballs pass through. And it's something that's missing from a lot of cats' diets. I grabbed this bag of seed from my local PetSmart. Nothing fancy about it. I do have to say, I prefer a blend of oat, wheat, barley, and rye to give the cats. That way they kind of get a variety and a different flavor of grass. And it grows at different speeds and has a little bit of different hardiness. But I just grabbed this real quick. You can order off Amazon some good mixtures. Take some soil, put it in a pot. Go to about an inch away from the top. For this size pot, you only need about a tablespoon of seeds. Sprinkle them all around, even the edges. Doo. Take more soil and put it on top. Wow, that's hard. Now water it and just check it daily. Just make sure that it's just slightly moist. You don't want to overwater it. all your seeds across the table on the floor. Clean up your mess. Seal the bag. And in a week, this will be perfect to be able to give your cats. I know some of you are thinking, I've tried grass before, you know, the stuff that you buy at the pet store. Would you wanna eat from a salad bar that's been out for the last week or two? Your cat probably doesn't want to either. That grass was at its prime most likely a week or two to maybe even a couple months before you even bought it. And if you're also thinking, my cat throws up when they eat the grass. Well, if you're feeding them old, tough grass, most likely that's going to happen. The younger stuff has a tendency of moving through and actually helping hairballs pass. And it has a whole lot more nutrients that their body can absorb from it. And really, if it's just a blade of grass that comes up, that's not a big deal. It's better than the hairball that's right behind it. Now time to water it, and I'll see you in a week. Day four. Day five. End of day six. Getting there. Day seven. I'm gonna give it one more day, just because I planted it late the first day. So here we are, we're on day eight. This is perfectly ready to be able to give to your cats. You can let it get a little taller if you want. For me, this works great. It's nice and tender and soft. My cats are going to love this. And yes, I already know the first day that I give it to them, they kind of mow it down and there's barely going to be any nubs that are left. But the great thing about this is it's going to keep growing during the week. So all week my cats can munch on this. And today I'm going to go ahead and start another batch. That way in a week, I can give them fresh grass again that hasn't been mowed down and they can keep having those nice, fresh, young greens. And you know where I think they'd like this the most? I'm going to put it on my little catio. So let's go see how they like it. Hopefully you found this informative and it's going to encourage you if you're not already giving your cat cat grass, go ahead and give them some. It's amazing at how some cats react to it, especially the indoor cats that never get to go outside or the ones that occasionally break out just so they can go try to chew on something or even the ones that eat your flowers on your table and you wonder why do they keep eating my flowers? Because they need some greens. So give it to them. And of course, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Now go make your cat some grass.